Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to part number five of this five-part series in our study of the horizontal atonement, how what God does for us through Christ impacts how we deal and treat with one another. The Bible, it has all these benefits. One of those benefits is that God promises to get us near. He promises to resolve every claim that we file. He promises to walk us through that process. And that's why he's given us Jesus. Jesus's job is to get us nearer to God. And it did not just happen on the cross. That happened to justify us. But everybody who's in the sanctified life, they're simply saying that I've gotten into a boat or I've gotten into a car that they want on that one point. That was that day I got in the car. But I've been driven ever since. No, I, just, I didn't say driving, but I'm being driven ever since. I'm floating along ever since. And this is what God has promised to do for us through Christ if we let him. Why? Well, Ephesians 2.13 says, hey, now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometime were afar off, you're made nigh by the blood of Christ. We're made near by the blood of Christ. Sounds like a no brainer, right? I think we've even quoted this verse in other studies, but it says we're made nigh by the blood of Christ. Remember when we were saying about how we got into the car of grace or we got into that, you know, the boat of blessing, how we don't row that boat and we don't push that pedal, but we are brought or carried by God's grace and his plan. We are only brought near by the blood of Christ. Nothing else brings us near. Our feeling bad about what we've done does not change the fact that we did it. The only thing that's powerful enough to change what we've done, that it is that is as factual as our failure, the only thing as factual as that is the faithfulness of God and the faithfulness of Christ in saying, my blood, and in God saying, it is enough. That's the only thing we can back on. That's, 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 that's it. It's only by the blood of Christ that we are made nigh and nothing else can or ever will. See here in Colossians 1, 21 to 22, let Christ get you nearer. You that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. Powerful connection. The mind then leading to the works. Yet now, but now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Okay, I've read this. Okay, I've read this, but you got to look at this verse. Look at these words again. It says, in the body of his flesh through death. This is what Christ does. He presents you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in God's sight. Do you know what God can see? Everything. God can see everything. Every, not just everybody, he sees everything, which means he sees what is in everybody that he sees. He sees us. But in Christ, he no longer sees that which he cannot help but see otherwise. <laughs> so that we are unreprovable, meaning that there's nobody can question our place or our nearness. No one can say, yo, whoa, 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 you're too close to the throne. Wait, 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 hold, hold, wait, wait, you are way too close. You know, you've been some places and you see the little barrier or you see the little tape or you've got security or you've got somebody who's there to make sure you don't forget where you're supposed to be. Nobody in the kingdom, nobody in glory can look at you when, when we're in Christ and say, wait, 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 you're too close. In fact, when anybody or anything in heaven sees you in Christ, they won't, not only will they not reprove you, but they will actually say, wait a minute. That's, that's one of the most highs. That's not some other creation or some other creature or some other being that this infinite creator God has made. But, but this is one of those that Jesus died for. 